So Crossrail is a brand new railway coming to London, opening in stages from 2017 onwards. And recently, TfL announced that it would be named the Elizabeth Line upon opening, uh, which is a shame because for all these years we've known it as Crossrail. And there's been some debate uh, as to whether we should call it the Elizabeth Line, perhaps give it a nickname, perhaps call it something else. Um, I am not in favour. I think we should still be calling it Crossrail at the very least. And some people have said, well, why, Jeff? Why? So I wanted to put it into um, a video. First of all, the word Crossrail has been in existence since uh, 1974, a London Rail study report, uh, which said, does London need a new railway going across London? Used this term then. It was then used again in the late 1990s, early 2000s, when another report was kicking around, even to the point that when they started to build it, and I should point out that Crossrail is still the name of the construction term and the Elizabeth Line is the official name that it will be called when it's opened. But the word Crossrail even appears in some signage. Uh, if you go to Tottenham Court Road Station at the moment, you can see there are vinyl stickers covering up the words Crossrail. So the word Crossrail was put in in some signs in some tube stations where it's connecting, ready for them to peel back the sticker and the word Crossrail will then appear. So, uh, why do I think the Elizabeth line is a bad name? Right, well you just heard me say it just then, the Elizabeth line. It's quite wordy to say, that's quite a lot of syllables. Um, when you're talking about the tube, tube, one syllable. Crossrail, crossrail, boom boom, two syllables. Elizabeth, that's four syllables. I don't think it really trips off the tongue that easily. But that's not the main reason. The main reason why I don't like it um, is because they've called it a line. Now this is really quite important because crossrail isn't an underground line. Now you might be thinking, well I know that Jeff, but some people, when the Elizabeth line was announced, as that would be the name, there was a blog and there was an American uh, website, I'm gonna to link to them below, did articles saying, the new tube line in London, the Elizabeth line, I'm going, no, no, you've already been somehow duped that by calling it a line, TfL, it is a tube line. Because you think of the underground line, you think of the Piccadilly line or the Victoria line. These are lines, a line to me means the tube means the underground. Crossrail is not the tube, it's not the underground. In fact, I think the distinction is so important it's worth pointing out. Crossrail is something new, it is a railway. It is a railway that just happens to go under London. We've never had that in London before. We have National Rail, British Rail, if you're old enough, services that come in. Uh, Thameslink, also not known as the Thameslink line, that does go up you know, through a tunnel in London. But here is a brand new railway, which, which they're building right through the heart of London. It's gonna run parallel in some sections against the central line, but it's not stopping at every stop. It's not stopping at Oxford Circus. It's not stopping at Holborn. There's all these places, why? Because it's a fast train. You don't want to be saying, this is the same as the tube line. It is not a tube line. The other important distinction is that an un the underground, the tube, is a metro style service. Now the definition of a metro style service, the loose definition, is roughly this, is that one, trains stop frequently, you know, like uh, Tottenham Court Road to Oxford Circus is just a minute apart, 60 seconds in the heart of the capital. Crossrail stations are gonna be spaced further out, they're not stopping everywhere. The other thing about a metro style service, which the tube is, is that you don't need a timetable, you just turn up and go, because trains are that frequent. Now, yes, there are gonna be 24 trains an hour through the central section, but think about where it goes at the extremities, down to Abbey Wood, up to Shenfield, and especially out west, it's going to Reading. Only two trains an hour, out of those 24 are going to go all the way to Reading. So if you work at Tottenham Court Road and you're getting your train home to Reading, it's not like a, you know, you don't turn up like you do with the central line and just know there'll be a train within a few minutes. You're going to need to know the time of your train to Reading. I think there will be a timetable for Crossrail that says, you know, the next train is here. And that differentiates it from the tube, the tube of lines, the tube of tube lines, Crossrail is a railway, right? It's <laughs> Crossrail, the word rail is in there. If they want to call it Elizabeth something, why not call it Elizabeth Rail? We need to be clear that this is a railway that just happens to go through London and it's not the tube. The people that have got it right, and I've been there twice this year, are the French in Paris. Part of me worries that I might end up liking the Paris Metro more than the London Underground. Uh, they have the RER service, which is, you know, I'm not even gonna pronounce it, but on the bottom of the screen right now, there's gonna be a thing that tells you what RER means. This is their railways, which start way outside the city, you know, beyond uh, the extremities of the metro, and then it comes into the heart of Paris and doesn't stop as frequently as the metro, only stops at a few key stations. And they have the RERA and the RERB. If there's gonna be a second crossrail, right, then surely we could call our first crossrail, crossrail one, CR1, or crossrail A. And then when the second north-south crossrail comes through, that could be CR2 or CRB. But to call it a line, 
yeah, I think that's weird and it's wrong. We don't call it the overground line, we don't call it the DLR line, but we do have tube lines because line means underground and crossrail is not the underground. So let's call it Elizabeth Rail, but not the Elizabeth line.